Now we'll go into how to create a product as well as the price list that is associated with that product. So first you go to settings and then to product catalog and then select families and products. And you'll see here we have a bunch of options at the top. We are going to select add product. Here we'll name our product. Since we're dealing with soda, we're gonna name it Pepsi and the product ID. And you'll see here we have a parent field. So if we were creating another product such as like Mountain Dew or another soda that we wanted associated with Pepsi, we would put Pepsi in this field when we were creating that. See, so we have a valid from and a valid to field, which if you have a limited time product, you could fill out those fields. And we have a description here if you need to give your product a description for the users in the system to help them better understand what that product is. And we'll come over to unit group and we'll see soda is there, which is the unit group we created earlier. And we'll go to default unit. And in our case, our default unit is going to be a case. Uh, that's the smallest unit we are going to sell our Pepsi in. And for our decimal supported, and we'll save. And then we'll scroll down to our price list items and click add, the plus mark there. And you'll see here it's asking for a price list. And what we're going to do at this point is create a new price list for our soda. And we'll name it pretty simple soda price list. You'll see a start and an end date here as well, and a description. We'll click save. And currently we don't have any price list items and we're going to go over that right now. So we'll come back to these price list items. Select add and we will add our price list in for our price list item and you'll see here the unit is case. And if we are going to sell our product in cases, boxes, pallets or whatever unit and form you're going to sell it in, we need to create a price list item for each one of those units. So we'll walk through that. And this first one will create a price list item that is a case. We'll come down and select the amount for eight dollars. We'll save and close. And we'll come back. And now we can see in our price list items we have that case for the Pepsi. We're going to add a second one. soda price list that we created just earlier and we will change our case to boxes and our discount list this time we created the 20% off on 15 to 25 boxes we'll select that as it applies to this unit and we'll come down put in our price at $40 select save and close And we can come back and we see now we have case, now we have boxes, and we want to add one more for pallet. Price list. And this time we don't have a discount list, so we'll leave that blank. Select the amount of 200. Save and close. And now once we go back to our product, which is Pepsi, we can scroll down and we see our price list items here, one for case, one for boxes, and one for pallet.